you for this wonderful morning sunday morning we praise you lord you are a great god we praise you pa you are a creator of heaven and earth we praise you you are a wonderful god counselor prince of peace mighty god el shaddai we thank you and praise you el rohi we thank you and praise you ebenezer lord we thank you and praise you shandara bari tara bala namana shandara bala bala lord we ask for your blessing this morning upon our nation upon our church upon our family upon our children shabara tu namara shandara bari tara bala 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 tara bala bala shandara lord bless you yes lord His face shine upon me and be gracious to you. Lord, turn His face towards you and give you praise. Lord, bless you.
led us and given us a new year we could see your grace in abundance oh father god your guidance your light you are going before us oh father god turning the crooked way straight shapara bala tu na mari shandara bala bara bara i will enter his gates with thanksgiving this morning let's open our hearts and give thanks to the lord with all our hearts with all our soul and all of our mind only when we thank the lord we can feel the power of god thanking is going to erase the fear it's going to erase the fear i will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart i will enter his courts with praise i will say this is the day that the lord has made I'll really rejoice for he has made me glad He has made me glad He has made me glad I'll really rejoice for he has made me glad He has made me glad He has made me glad I'll really rejoice for he has made me glad I will enter his gates with thanks giving in my heart I will enter his courts with I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I'll really rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I'll really rejoice for He has made me glad. Come on, everyone. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I'll really rejoice for He has made me glad. Our hearts should sing this morning. Singing in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me. He is the Creator of heaven. Agilatayum, agayatayum, undan valle parakramatale. Andavare sirushtire, undan valle karatinale. Nothing is too difficult. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for the you create the heaven and earth by your words. Oh Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Oh Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Lord, nothing is too difficult for thee. This morning, absolutely, you could have come with a doubt. 
Nothing is too difficult for thee. Let's repeat the word. Oh, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Oh, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for thee. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his course with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in him, and be glad in him. This is the day that the Lord has made us. We will rejoice and be glad in him. Is the day that the Lord has made. Happiness overflows, happiness overflows, happiness overflows in me. Hallelujah, He gave His life for me, gave His life and set me free. Happiness overflows in me. Happiness overflows, happiness overflows, happiness overflows in me. Hallelujah, He gave His life for me, gave His life and set me free. Happiness overflows in me. There is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is devil trembles at the blood of Jesus. I his name when we worship, he trembles, he trembles, he cannot touch you. Kiratarabala Shandarabari Kadurabalabara. Oh, Paul in the Dum Balamai, Una that Tin Balamai, Abi in Balamai, Akini in Balamai. Paul in the Dum Balamai, Una that Tin Balamai, Abi in Balamai, Akini. There is part, there is part. Wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. I will enter, I will enter as gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter as gates with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for He has made. He has made me glad, He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad, He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me, He has made me glad, He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad, He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He knows the plan. Before we were formed in the mother's womb, He has called us by name, by our profession. Lord, we thank you and praise you for you are great, O oh Father God. Thura bala shandari thara bala dhanama. Ora tu namara shandara ba. Oh Lord, this morning, O oh Father God, we give our hearts the inner defilement which we don't know, O oh Father God. It's hidden inside. Lord, this morning we confess before your throne of grace. By your blood you have shed on the cross that you will cleanse our defilement and make us pure and holy to stand before your throne, blameless, faultless. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. true. Let us pray.
prayer this morning. Change my heart, oh God. Oh, yes, Lord. May I be like you. Change my heart, oh God. His presence fill this place. Make it oh, give your heart to Him. True. Give your heart to Him. He's ready to cleanse this morning to make it pure, to make it pure, to renew the relationship. Ratuna Mara Shadra, father, son, father, daughter relationship. Change my heart, oh God. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Spirit, we adore you. We worship and adore. Never ending. 
Nothing is too difficult for thee. You can move the mountains. You can split the Red Sea. You can break the Jericho walls of our lives. Lord, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Lord, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. To burn Jesus, 
Lord, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else.
Alléluia, 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 Dieu de l'aime, Alléluia, Alléluia, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every time you be, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, give him glory, give him honor, give him praises to the Lamb of God. Oh, give him praises, praises to the Lamb of God. Give him praises to the Lamb of God. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time of worship. We glorify your name. We honor your name. We magnify your name. We surrender the coming sessions with the hands. When pastor speaks, let it flow through our hearts and encourage us. We thank you. Give all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. praise and worship and uh, now it's time for the announcements if you are watching us for the first time we'd like to welcome you to our online service and uh, stay tuned in God has something very specific to speak to you today <clears throat> don't miss it out <clears throat> if you're thinking about all the pathways of your life and where you are right now I want to tell you <clears throat> that God has a specific plan, a specific purpose for your life and it's plans to prosper you and to give you a future and a hope. And so we want to welcome you to our online service and um, um, by the time the lockdown gets over, we'll be physically meeting in Shiloh Church, uh, number one Mastan Gori Street <clears throat> in Adambakam and uh, you can get more details online on that. And uh, if you're celebrating your birthdays, <clears throat> wedding anniversaries and your spiritual birthdays, <clears throat> we'd like to greet you, um, wish you a happy birthday and happy wedding anniversary, spiritual birthdays. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you uh, to know Him more, to know His power more and to be partaker of His suffering more. That's, that was Paul's prayer and uh, we speak that over your life. <clears throat> And uh, we're just going to pray right now. We're just going to pray for uh, each of the <clears throat> things mentioned and also pray for the tithes and the offerings uh, that the Lord will bless that. Father, we thank you that any, everybody that's watching here, they're not watching by chance or by accident, especially those who are watching for the first time, Lord. They're watching because you wanted them to watch. Now I ask for your Holy Spirit to take control and minister in their lives, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will lead them in the good path that you have for their lives. Those celebrating their birthdays, <clears throat> wedding anniversaries, Lord, bless them with the revelation of Christ. Like they've never known before, Lord, even those celebrating their spiritual birthdays. That they will grow in that knowledge, Lord, and find sustenance for everything, for every area of their life through the knowledge of Christ, Lord. Lord, we pray for those who've given faithfully over the years and those who are giving right now. Lord, speak your blessings upon them, Lord. May all grace abound in their lives. All grace abound, Lord. That, Lord, that they will be fruitful for every good work. We bless your people, Lord. Even now as we <clears throat> expound from your word, as we look into your word, we pray that you will minister to us by your Holy Spirit. Open to us the eyes of our understanding. God, 
you said in your word you will know the truth and the truth will set you free god we pray that each of us will know the truth the truth of the word of god as we look into your word and that truth lord that will set us free father we thank you and we praise you in jesus name we pray <clears throat> amen dearly beloved for the past few weeks when i've been preaching i've been talking about redemption in christ and today it's part 7 of that series and we're going to focus on the blood of jesus i know we talked a little bit about <clears throat> the role the blood plays in redemption but today we are going to go into more detail more specifically talking about the redemption that is there in the blood of jesus and so uh stay tuned in and um the lord would uh, definitely minister to you we're going to start by singing this song it's your blood <clears throat> that cleanses me it's your blood that gives me life and it's a familiar song and i i know most of you would know that song i just want you to sing the song along with me It's your blood that cleanses me It's your blood that gives me life It's your blood that took my place Dream and sacrifice washes me the snow then the snow Christ Jesus who God's precious sacrifice with hands lifted up it's the blood that cleanses me it's your blood that gives me life it's your blood that took my place with deep and sacrifice washes me was is as whiter than the snow we apply the blood of jesus in this place for everybody watching <coughs> just one more time it's your blood that cleanses me come on saint It's your blood that gives me life. It's your blood that took my place. Redeem and sacrifice washes me. presence of the lord is here in this place this life in that blood this healing in that blood this redemption in that blood it's our blood that needed to be shed but our blood was impure <clears throat> therefore it couldn't have been shed as an atonement but that the pure spotless blood of the lamb of god was shed for our sins it washes us dearly beloved washes us clean 
Thank you, Jesus. Christ Jesus, God's precious sacrifice. Amen. Dearly beloved, let's go to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. It's a verse that we've been, we've been going to very often during, you know, our focus on redemption in Christ. And it's a verse we're going to start with again today. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. It says, In Him, the in Him there is in Jesus, we have redemption through His blood. The His there is Christ's blood. So in Jesus, everybody say, In Jesus, I have redemption through Christ's blood. Amen. And we saw the meaning of the word redemption some time back. And for those of you who are listening for the first time or you might have missed that, redemption um, has a whole um, lot of uh, truths attached to it. Redemption is not just forgiveness of sins. It is the, the first and foremost thing is uh, the restoration of our relationship with God. You know, the restoration of the relationship that was lost and cut off with God. Redemption brings that about. In redemption, there's forgiveness of sins, freedom from sin, freedom from curse, healing from diseases. Relationships are brought together. There's inner healing and deliverance. So when we are saying in Him we have redemption through His blood, it is not some one single narrow concept like forgiveness of sins, dearly beloved. God provides redemption to the spirit, soul and body. And that redemption, this verse says, has been brought about by the blood of Jesus. And I know later we're going to look into the blood more specifically. But then, you know, just focusing on this verse... When we believe the blood of Jesus for what it is and we apply it in our lives and we apply it in the broken areas of our lives, we apply it into areas that need redemption, the redeeming power of Christ starts to work in those areas, dearly beloved. And we'll focus a little bit on that a little later. But the verse here says, we've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. In Acts 20, 28... Paul is talking, he's, he's talking to a few people there and uh, uh, what he's ideally saying there is that God has brought us, bought us with his own blood. The spirit of God he implies, uh, he says, but it's implied that Christ has bought us with his own blood. Dearly beloved, we've been bought with a price. We saw that earlier in Corinthians. The blood of Jesus Christ was shed as a payment to buy us back from the enemy's hold, to buy us back from Satan's prison, to buy us back from bondage, from the bondage he put us in, in sickness and in sin and curses and all of that, dearly beloved. Now when we talk about redemption through the blood, it's not a New Testament concept only. You know, God gave several um, shadows of that for the people of Israel to see and to be prepared for the ultimate redemption that would come through His Son, dearly beloved. When John looked at Jesus and he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. When he mentions the word Lamb, the people in Israel knew that Lamb had to do with sacrifice for sin. So this is not just a New Testament thing where Jesus suddenly came and said, I am a propitiation for your sins. No. Right from the time of the law, when the law was given to Moses, God brought this thing into, um, 
into the in, uh, into the people of israel's lives into their minds into the deep into their hearts by establishing you know sacrifice for their sins dearly beloved in leviticus chapter 17 verses 11 this is what god says and he gives the reason behind the shedding of blood for the sins of the people of israel and he gives the reason behind it leviticus chapter 17 verses 11 here paul i mean here um moses writing he writes what god tells him the life of the creature is in the blood the life of a person is in the blood this is something that medical science discovered only some time back for many centuries we believed that the life of a person is in some organ but then only recently about 30 40 years i believe back when medical science discovered that the life of a person is in the blood but then you know the word of god has said that like thousands of years back so god is saying the life of a creature is in the blood and he is given it and i have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves in the altar and the last part part of verse 11 is very important for it is the blood that makes atonement for one's life everybody say that loud it's the blood that makes atonement for one's life so in the old testament we see god establishing that establishing the truth that in the blood of bulls and goats and doves have to be shed as a sin offering for the sins of the people because life was in the blood and it 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 followed as a shadow it it was a foretaste as we come into the new testament and we see Christ you know offering himself for our sins and hebrews 9 13 14 records it perfectly well it says if the blood of bulls and goats cleansed the sin outwardly how much more the pure spotless lamb uh, the, the blood of the lamb the son of god do you find dearly beloved the connection between the old and the new and this is something that we need to be aware of dearly beloved christ shedding his blood for us was him giving his life for us was him fulfilling that spiritual law that existed in the realms of god that blood had to be shed for the sin of mankind the first adam's sin demanded that the blood of the second adam be shed and the blood of the second adam the spotless lamb of god was shed and the first adam and everybody that came out of the first adam were redeemed by the second adam dearly beloved can i hear an amen this is another thing that important truth that we need to understand about the shedding of the blood of jesus Jesus made a covenant with us by his blood. Jesus makes a covenant with us by the shedding of his blood. And again, this is not something new to the New Testament only. When God made a covenant with Abraham in the first place, offering had to be given, the blood had to be shed and God passed through. the animals that were cut into half and a covenant was made with abraham and abraham from his side he had to circumcise all himself and all the male children and again blood was shed a covenant was made in blood dearly beloved in the old testament and jesus when he is talking with his disciples we find it in matthew 26 we can also look it up in luke also this is what he says behold a new covenant i make with you with my own blood my blood that is poured out for the sins of many 
Dearly beloved, first of all, we need to understand the word covenant. You see, for those of us who are believers and who are married or witnessed marriage, we know that marriage is a covenant between the two. And basically, the exchange of rings or the putting of a chain on the bride's neck or symbols showing of the lifelong covenant. And we would have made that covenant if we would have been married in a Christian matrimony for better or for worse, in sickness or in health. I promise I make a vow to take care of you. Dearly beloved, we show our commitment by the exchange of rings, by the putting of a chain. But then Christ shows his commitment by the shedding of his blood, dearly beloved. It's a commitment made by blood. It's a commitment ma made by the blood of Christ himself. You can understand how serious that is. Jesus is basically saying, I'm giving my life for you. I'm shedding my blood and I'm inviting you to come into covenant relationship with me. And dearly beloved, when we come to the knowledge of Christ and we submit ourselves to the righteousness of Christ through baptism in water, we enter into that covenant relationship with Christ. That's why if you've never been baptized, fully immersed in water, expressing your faith in Christ, you have to do that. Basically, you're identifying with his death. You are entering into covenant relationship with Christ. You know what that means, dearly beloved? When in baptism, what we do is we pledge our lives to Christ and say, Christ, everything that I am, everything that I own belongs to you. On the other side, you know what that means? Everything that Christ has belongs to us. If we understand covenant, we don't need to go and beg God for things, dearly beloved. We are a covenant people. Only, only those who don't understand the covenant, they need the mercies of God. And please don't understand me wrong here. If we've entered into a covenant relationship with Christ, then everything rightfully that belongs to Christ rightfully belongs to us dearly beloved. And we can claim it, we can walk in it in fullness. And if you've taken baptism and you didn't know this truth, it's time to exercise your faith. You're in a covenant relationship with Christ and maybe you made your commitment but you're backslid and you've gone away. Come back, give your life to Christ totally again. Ask the grace of God to empower you. In covenant relationship is all that we need through Christ, dearly beloved. You see, communion has a lot of different meanings when we take communion. Jesus said, take it, you know, in remembrance of my suffering for you. Communion, in communion we remember the suffering of Christ. But then in communion we renew our covenant dearly beloved. A lot of times married people, you know, they renew their covenants after 25 years. <laughs> By that time, you know, we've mostly forgotten <laughs> most of the commitments we've made. We've broken it a lot of times. I'm just being honest and practical here. We don't need to, I mean, take communion every month. We can take communion every day. Every day, it will be a reminder of the covenant Christ made for us. It will also remind us of the covenant we made with Christ that we can be faithful and walk with all diligence before him, dearly beloved. Can I hear amen? Now we come to one other important point after we've seen this truth 
What does the blood of Jesus do? I mentioned earlier, it does everything. Sickness, apply the blood of Jesus. And God's redeeming power will start to work, bring healing. Curses, apply the blood of Jesus. And God's redeeming power will start to break curses. You know, there was this preacher by the name of Maria Woodworth Ettard. Etter, she had understood the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus. She was a woman of faith and she had faith in the blood of Jesus. And she would go to these huge meetings with thousands and thousands of people. And during her sermon at one point she would stop and she would start to apply the blood of Jesus over the entire place over the entire ground or the entire auditorium and the moment she would start to apply the blood sicknesses would start to leave demons will start to flee God's healing God's delivering power will start to work daily beloved there's life in that blood there's redeeming power in that blood redemption for spirit soul and body daily beloved there's redemption for spirit, soul and body in the blood of Jesus. Can I hear an amen? But the point that I like to focus here today is, is Hebrews 9, 13, 14. It's a verse that we saw earlier. In 13 it says, The blood of bulls and goats covered sins outwardly covered sins temporarily they only covered sins for a while but the blood of Jesus in verse 14 it says cleanses us from an evil conscience I'd like to say two things here the blood of Jesus removes all sin as far as the east is from the west it removes all sins away from us not only does it do that it removes the stain of sin in us. It cleanses our conscience. There's a huge difference. We have such a privilege for those who, who, who we are living in the New Testament, the New Covenant. It's a great privilege, dearly beloved. The Old Testament saints, the blood of bulls and goats only took away sin temporarily and only covered sin outwardly. That's why even though they were you know, holy men, they approached God with fear. They approached God with trembling because the stain of sin was in them and they felt condemned on the inside. But dearly beloved, the blood of Jesus Christ removes the stain. We don't need to fear. We don't need to be condemned. We can go boldly to the throne of grace crying, Abba, Father. We have such a privilege that the Old Testament saints didn't have, dearly beloved. And today if you're fighting with guilt and condemnation, and if you've repented of your sins and if you've applied the blood of Jesus, you don't need to feel condemned. You don't need to allow guilt. Just believe the word of God, dearly beloved. Believe the word of God. That the blood of Jesus has cleansed me from all sin. Has cleansed my conscience. Has cleansed me deep on the inside. That's what Hebrews 10, 19 says. We can come before God in confidence because of the blood of Jesus. A lot of times we believe our feelings. We believe what others tell us. But dearly beloved, we need to learn to put our faith in the word of God. Can I hear an amen? There was this person who came to this preacher and said, I don't know if God has forgiven my sins. I feel so guilty and condemned. And this preacher asked him, have you repented of your sins genuinely? And he said, yes, four or five times. And this preacher said, you know, if that is the case, then Jesus is a liar and the word of God is not true. And this person was shocked. What? What are you saying? And the preacher said, 
the word of god says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness are you going to believe the word or are you going to believe your own feelings and the person got it daily beloved and he was set free instantly the guilt and the condemnation was gone daily beloved if you are struggling with a guilty conscience if you are struggling and if you repented and asked the blood of jesus christ to cleanse you believe the word of god god has cleansed us from an evil conscience we have boldness by the blood of jesus everybody say boldness by the blood of jesus even now as you're listening to the word i'd like to pray for you if you've not known the lord and if you want jesus christ into your life you want forgiveness of sins you need to repent of your sins first you need to believe that jesus died and rose again from the dead for your sins and then when you ask the blood of jesus christ to cleanse you his blood will cleanse you dearly beloved for those of us who are believers who we think oh i've lost my way i've sinned This is a time to look to the cross and the pure spotless blood of the lamb and apply it in your conscience. Apply it in your spirit, apply it in your soul, apply it in your body dearly beloved. <clears throat> Hallelujah. What if we just close our eyes and Father I pray for each person that is praying. Lord I apply the blood of Jesus. Come on lift your hands. I apply the blood of Jesus over their spirit over their soul over their body over their conscience cleansing by the blood the pure spotless blood of the lamb according to the word of God let all guilt be gone let all condemnation be gone may the spirit of God witness deep in their hearts that they are children of God and there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus thank you god thank you lord dearly beloved i'd like to finish with this verse in 1 peter and it's a powerful verse here verses 18 and 19 for as much as you know that we were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold silver and gold are precious but they are corruptible or oh, from your vain conversations received by tradition from your fathers but you have been redeemed verse 19 but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and spot who was verily foreordained before the foundations of the world but was manifest in these last times for you Dearly beloved the blood of Jesus Christ it cleanses us it cleanses us and we've been redeemed not by gold or silver but by the precious blood of Jesus pure spotless everybody say pure spotless blood of Jesus has redeemed me amen When we apply the blood of Jesus if we can see the value of the blood it's more precious than gold it's more precious than silver more precious than rubies its value cannot be measured in the natural if we if we can see that and by faith if we can apply the blood of Jesus then we can see the redeeming power of God at work in every area of our lives when we just close our eyes daily beloved father we thank you for this day we thank you for showing us from your word god it is your will right from the very beginning lord even when you when adam and eve sinned and animals animal had to be slain and they had to be clothed with the skin of an animal even before the law It was your plan and purpose God that you fought our ain from the very beginning that blood has to be shed for the redemption of mankind and in the law you showed us God 
that the life of a creature is in the blood and <clears throat> blood needs to be shed as an offering for the sins of mankind. And when the fullness of time came, you sent your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins as a propitiation for our sins by shedding all of his blood, God. Now, Lord, we want to say we believe the blood of Jesus. We believe the redemption in the blood of Jesus. And we apply the blood of Jesus over our spirit, soul and body. We apply the blood of Jesus over every sickness in our, in our, in our, in our lives, sickness in our children. We apply the blood of Jesus over every area of our lives. We apply the blood of Jesus over our relationships. We apply the blood of Jesus over all our pathways. And we release the redemption that is there in the blood. We believe the redemption that's there in the blood and we apply it in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, as your children are praying, come on, pray, pray, dear saints. Let the redeeming power in the blood of Jesus come into people's homes, come into their lives. We rebuke sickness. We rebuke demonic bondages. We rebuke sin. The bondage to sin, let it be broken. We rebuke curses in the name of Jesus. We say be free in the name of Jesus. We command sickness to leave. We command and say that relationships be restored in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands, dear saints. The presence of God is flowing like a river. Hallelujah. Let the life, oh, in the blood of Jesus flow into each home, flow into each person walking, oh, watching, oh, every sickness, every sickness be gone, gone in Jesus' name. God, help us to walk in all that you have for us, Lord. That will be just words that we've heard today. That faith will be born in each of us. To exercise that faith. To see your redeeming power at work, not just in our lives, in the lives of everybody around us, God. For your glory. Come on, saints, stretch your hands towards this camera. Lord, touch your people. Touch your people. Touch your people. Be glorified, Lord. Be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit now abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Dear saints, there's power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Keep applying the blood and you will see the redeeming power of Christ at work in your life in your family, in your friends, in God's name will be glorified. Amen. Amen.